Welcome to this short video on Add and Subtract Surface. The Add and Subtract Surface command gives you the ability to take any surface and take the elevations and you can add those elevations or subtract those elevations from another surface. It's kind of hard to understand so that's why I'm going to demonstrate it here. So to get started I just want to show you what I've done. So I've got an existing surface here and I've got a silt surface and if I zoom in here you'll see this surface is I actually created some points and they're like borehole points and you can see here the points have got an elevation of like a negative 1.86 and a negative 2.89 and 1.25 okay they don't have a real elevation they basically have a depth then I created a surface from that now if I look at both of these surfaces in 3d here you'll see that the one is setting way below the other one so I'm going to exit out of that. I'm going to just hover over just so you can see the elevations here. So you can see my original ground has got an elevation of 95.53 and the silt surface has an elevation of a negative 1.75 because that's what we picked up for the borehole information. We don't have an elevation, we just had a depth. All right. So now what I want to do is I want to create a new surface of the silt surface and I just want to take these elevations off of the original ground. So to do this we're going to come up here to the Kobe Toolkit ribbon. We're going to come over to the add and subtract surface. The first surface I have is my original ground. I'm going to add these elevations because they are negative values. I don't want to subtract them because then it's going to take um, it's going to add them back in because it's you're going to subtract a negative which is going to give you back a positive. So I'm going to say let's add in these negative values. I'm going to add them from the silt surface. Now we want to know how the boundary is. So do we want to create a new surface combining both? That would be union. What I'm going to do is go intersection. I just want a new surface um, where this these two surfaces intersect. My surface name here, I'm going to call this one new silt surface. And the style I'm going to use, I'm going to say let's go contours one and five and I'm not going to worry about the layers, so I'm going to go OK. Now you can see this new surface. Now it's kind of hard to see what's actually happened. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to draw a polyline right through those surfaces. I'm going to select the polyline. I'm going to right click and go to quick profile. And I'm just going to uncheck the original silt surface. Go profile view is my view style. I'm going to go OK. Throw the profile in there and now you can see what I've done. So I've now created this new surface. And what it's done is it's taking the original ground surface and then subtracted out those negative values. So this is probably down like 1.25. This might be down 2.68 or whatever it might be. This concludes this short video on add and subtract surface. I hope you enjoyed it and thanks for watching.